Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 OMG moments for episode 5 of The 100 Season 3. There are spoilers ahead if you haven't yet seen Hakuldama? Hakuldama? Dama? I don't really know how to say that. But anyway, go and watch the episode and then come back and watch my video. So, top 5 OMG moment number 1, Murphy Anamori. So Murphy's back, yay! Uh, and of course he's dating that grounded chick that I totally said that he would be. Um, I just really understand this show, you know? <laughs> so the relationship is kind of really adorable and they seem to be doing okay for themselves, you know, until Murphy manages to get himself captured again. <laughs> the real question though is who was the one who captured him? Was it Ice Nation, a Rogue Nation, someone I probably should know of but don't? Uh, either way, I'm going to guess that Murphy is go going to get tortured by the grounders for the third time. And you know, that's that's worked so well for him in the past. Um, do you remember number two? The resistance. I know that's not really what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. So in this episode, we saw that not everybody is super happy with the way Pike is running things. And you know, by running things, I mean the way he's killing and locking up grounders left, right and center. I mean, he locked up Lincoln. No one put Lincoln in a cage. I can only imagine what Octavia's going to do when she finally gets her hands on Pike. I'm really looking forward to the fact that she like strangles him or something. Um, the good news though is that there is a little resistance going on in Arcadia led by Kane and Abby. Uh, known or suspected members are Octavia, Miller and Lincoln and that's it. So, you know, they should probably work on their recruitment drive. On to moment number three, Bellamy and Clark. This week's tearjerker came in the form of a conversation between Bellamy and Clark where they finally uh, expressed the feelings about what went down at the end of last season. So Bellamy revealed that he was upset that Clark left him and she sort of goes, oh, but, you know, I knew that I could leave because I was leaving you behind. Um, you know, how exactly is that working for you now, Clark? I will say that I do like so far how this season, while... A lot of plot points have involved Clark. They haven't seemed to centre around her and she always seems to be the off-centre sort of plot point. Um, I, re I really like that for this season. Now, I think this show has so many incredible characters, so to see Clark sort of take more of a backseat when she's been the main focus of season one and two is really interesting. Um, sometimes I think that Clark shouldn't actually come home to Arcadia because I feel like Pike would probably lock her up for being a traitor. Maybe. On to moment number four, Raven and Jaha. Of all the people Jaha could have converted to his strange city of light, why did it have to be Raven? I mean, she was a pretty badass character until she got that bullet lodged in her spine. Thanks, Murphy. Um, to begin with in this season, she was quite whiny and not really good for anything. Now, however, because she swallowed that weird infinity pill or whatever, um, she's able to walk properly. Probably not because I believe that's not exactly how the City of Light is supposed to work but it definitely does seem like she's been converted and will be working with Ali and Jaha for the rest of the season. Which reminds me, we still don't know what Jaha's plan actually is. It's very clear now that the City of Light is a place people go after death but then how the hell are Raven and Jaha apparently there? And top five armed moment number five, blood must not have blood. So perhaps the most anticlimactic but most important OMG moment in this episode was when Lexa decided not to get revenge on Sky Crew for slaughtering 300 of her warriors. I mean, I personally would have settled just for Pike's death because that would have been, you know, awesome. Uh, but it looks like Lexa is listening to Clark a lot more this season and probably more than she probably should. I mean, the Grounders have been living on Earth for 97 years during, you know, they've been somewhat functional since the nuclear war. They've somehow managed to create this whole um, society that they're living in. And now just because a few hundred people have come down from space and saying that their way is better, Lex is all of a sudden going to change everything. I'm not saying that killing a bunch of people and that blood must have blood is a whole you know, good idea, but I do think that some sort of justice needs to be served for the 300 warriors that were slaughtered. For a log off, I'm gonna leave you guys once again with four questions that I'm hoping they answer in the coming episodes. Question number one, when do Abby and Kane kiss? I am getting really very angry and impatient. 
Question number two, will Jasper swallow the pill and join Raven and Jaha on their City of Light crusade? Question number three, when is Octavia going to leave Sky Crew behind once and for all? And question number four, when will Bellamy stop being such an idiot and realize that Pike is really not a good guy? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you share any of my top five LMG moments from the episode. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random.